Okay, uh, I'll just start off by saying uh, the practice was good today. We had a fast Friday practice. Um, as you guys know, we moved the practice up uh, just due to the weather, moved it up an hour uh, to get the guys out of here uh, so they can get home safe um, for this evening, uh, which will be with the bulk of the weather uh, we're anticipating. Uh, and then the guys are coming in normal time. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll have our, our meetings, our final meetings for the week, and we'll do all that. And then uh, we'll do our mock game over in the uh, Walter Payton Center, which is our final walkthrough. Uh, and then the guys will just be, we're doing all our meetings here though, um, all the night meetings that we typically do at the hotel um, that will all be here, done here at Hallis. And uh, from there, uh, the guys just have to get down to, this, uh, to the hotel uh, later that night for bed check. And that's really about it uh, for, for the day. And then the guys will head over to the game. We'll be all squared away from there. But, uh, you know, obviously we're very excited for the game. Uh, Saturday, you know, just a reminder to all the, you know, fans to be safe, you know, and traveling to and from, you know, the stadium and dress warm. You know, we know this is bear weather. Um, that's, uh, you know, uh, exciting uh, for us as, you know, the Chicago Bears and uh, looking forward to the competition and excited about the opportunity. Um, as you guys know, uh, Herbert will be activated um, this right here. And, you know, the uh, corresponding move will be tomorrow. That's to be determined yet. Um, DB Harrison Hand has moved to the active roster. Um, you guys will see that uh, later today. And uh, I think that's all I have. I'll open up the questions from there. Thank you. All right, we'll get started with Pat Finley. Hey, Matt, uh, were you, uh, when you guys looked at how to arrange tomorrow's schedule, uh, were you considering taking a bus down with all the players in it or doing anything that would eliminate uh, kind of having, fit, you know, 60 guys? all taking 60 cars down there. Yeah, we, cer we certainly did. Uh, we looked at that. We had four buses ready to go. Um, we also had, uh, you know, at the, the hotels around here, we had some got, you know, some uh, rooms squared away, you know, just in case they had to spend the night tonight, you know, and all that stuff. But uh, again, the storm doesn't look like it's going to be like, like that. But uh, we certainly did have that uh, four buses to take everybody down there, park your cars at house. We'd all go down together. Uh, with an escort and then go from there. Adam Pogue. Hey Matt, I uh, was just wondering if there's any particular reason why um, Jalen Johnson went from full go the last couple of days to limited today and how confident you are you'll have him in a, you know, yeah, tough wide receiver he's got to go against on uh, some uh, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it's just really more about his his hand and, and if, if he feels he's functional with it, you know, we're just uh, just working through that. And that's just really where it is right now. Uh, but uh, we feel good uh, right now where it is and uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes here in the next 24 hours or so. Colleen Kane. Hey Matt, what are the challenges this week of potentially playing without Tevin and Cody? Yeah, uh, that's obviously when you when you have uh, potentially you know losing two starters in the inside of your line, um, that's a, that's a big uh, that's a big thing you know and that's uh, something that we've you know obviously looked at all week you know Schofield will be in there you know if if uh, one of them can't go and then if, if if the second guy can't go we'll see what happens but uh, you know Larry borm has been working in there a, a little bit which has been good uh, I think he's uh, done some good things and uh, again those guys have always prepared. Um, you know, in different spots, you know, and you got to have a pair and a spare. You always got to do that. And uh, the guys are excited about that. And uh, obviously, Chris Morgan's done a good job all year with different lineup changes and uh, Austin King as well. Jason Leisure. Uh, Matt, two clarifications for you there. Is, uh, is it a broken finger for Jalen Johnson? Yeah, um, you know, I don't know the exact diagnosis of it, but uh, it's it's something that's on his ring finger, um, you know, that uh, that they're looking at, and um, you know, he's had it in a in a in a brace, you know, uh, all week. So we're just working through it. You don't know if there's a broken bone in there. Well, it's a it's a it's a ring finger uh, injury, um, so that's that's what I know. Okay, and you said Schofield would be one of your he would be playing at guard if one of those guys is out is he specific to left or right yeah he'd be in the same spot he was last week for jake okay thank you yes sir pat finley matt you mentioned borm's been uh, working in at guard what do you like about him at guard 
Um, it, he's, he looks comfortable in there. Uh, I, I think he's done a good job in there all week. Um, you know, just being in that, in that tighter space. Um, you know, he's obviously a big guy that can move guys off the ball, which is, which is good, you know, in our run game. Um, so I think he's done a good job with his assignments in there. So it's a, it's, it's a good look. All right. Anyone else? Uh, looks like we got Alex Shapiro. Uh, last time we spoke, you mentioned your feet were freezing in that game in 2013. Making any adjustments to your footwear so that hopefully your feet are a little bit more <laughs> warm this Saturday. Yeah, I think T Med, you know, he's been here for 45 years. He knows this, you know, bare weather pretty good. So he's uh, he's gonna hook me up. I'll be taken care of for sure. Pat Finley. I'm curious your perspective on Josh Allen. And I, I know you faced him before, but he's a guy who wasn't an immediate success in the NFL. Do you look at that as an example of good of good coaching and of good development? And is that something that teams could all take inspiration from? Yeah, I mean, you know, you watched him, you know, come in a few years ago and you can see his development just from his game management, uh, how he manages the game, how he operates during two minutes. Uh, you know, all those things that, that you have to do as a quarterback in situations, and he's improved on those in the red zone, third down. Um, you know, they all, all have good numbers there. You know, that's really attributed to him. You know, he has a really good ability to, you know, throw the ball on time, but also do the untimed downs. Um, you've seen him scramble around, and, and uh, you know, he's so big, and he's able to stay alive um, on those untimed downs and deliver the ball. And the, guy, and the guys that are working with him are, do a great job of uncovering. You know, they get covered and then do a nice job in the scramble drill to be able to uncover and, and work themselves open. So I think the, it's a combination of all those things. But uh, they've certainly done a great job with him, coaching him, you know, and developing him over the years. And uh, he's one of the premier players in the NFL for sure. Kevin Fishman. Hey, Matt, uh, I'm wondering with your defensive ends, um, what kind of impact have you seen over the past two months without having Robert there? Um, have you have you seen the way offensive lines have played differently that, that, that Quinn's not there? And has that maybe been you know part of the reason the production is not where you, you'd like it to be? Yeah, that's a good question. I really haven't seen a difference. Um, obviously, with, you know, Quinn obviously is a, is a premier pressure player. Uh, we did an outstanding job for, for the Bears last year, but uh, – it's, uh, you know, they're just playing us straight up. You know, it's pretty much normal protection that, that I've seen for all the years. And uh, they're just, you know, a lot of one-on-ones on the edge, um, not as much chipping. Uh, there's not enough, enough banging on the edge with the tight ends and the, and the backs as much. So we're getting our looks that we need, and we got to take advantage of those. Josh Schrock. Hey, Matt, uh, I just wanted to ask about uh, the guard situation. If both Tevin and Cody can't go, um, is it a situation where you guys would look to do a platoon at the other guard that isn't Michael, or are you going to keep the right tackle platoon with Alex and Riley and let Larry go at, at, at the other guard? Um, yeah, I think, I think that's more of it. Again, I will, uh, I'm going to talk, I do substitution review with all the, play, all the coaches this, this, uh, this day. And I talk to them about, Hey, you know, if somebody goes down, who's going in, you know, what's the rotation? And we get the, the details of that. And it's, it certainly will mirror what we did in practice, but uh, I'll get more details of that um, today as we go. But uh, again, like I said, Larry's doing good. Um, Sko's doing good and we'll go from there. All right, we've got time for one more from Jason Leisure. Uh, Matt, what would happen, have to happen for Claypool to play? He hadn't practiced all week, but you did list him as doubtful. Yeah. Yeah, just just the, the the improvement, you know, of, of him feeling like he's good to go, um, you know, the ability to get that done in the next forty eight hours. Um, we just we just we're we're leaving it open like that, just in case uh, you know he does feel better and and he does have better movement here in the next forty eight hours. So we'll see. Has it been problematic for you guys that you have not been able to see much from him in terms of him not playing much when he first got here and now being out possibly for two games? Yeah, I think it's always that's always the case. You always want to see the players. You want to see what they can do. You want to see their skill sets. You want to be able to evaluate those things. And when a when a player's out, you don't get to do that. And that's um, that's always the case. It doesn't matter if it's Claypool or whoever else it is. But uh, we always want to have the chance to evaluate our guys in practice, and then put them in the best position to succeed. All right. Thank you for your time, Coach. Uh, thank you.